the overall goal of this procedure is to follow, in real time, a streptococcus pneumoniae infection in a murine pneumonia or sepsis model. This is accomplished by preparing a streptococcus pneumoniae infection dose after cultivation in the complex medium THY. The second step is the intranasal or intraperitoneal infection of mice with streptococcus pneumoniae. The final step is the quantification of bioluminescence intensities of the mice or of a selected region of mice to provide the total photon emissions. Ultimately, the bioluminescence intensities of a group of mice show the changes in the infection over time. In addition, analysis of individual images of bioluminescent mice is performed. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like determining the bacterial load in the lung or in different tissues, is that you can follow a pneumococcal infection using only one animal. The implications of this technique extend toward basic research, because this technique can also be applied to evaluate the protectivity of bacterial factors and anti-infective. This method can provide insight into the spread of pneumococci in mice. It can also be applied to other systems, such as determination of the bacterial load in the organs. Generally, researchers will find it easy to learn this method because using the bioimaging system is simple and software is available to prepare the images. I immediately had the idea to apply this method in infection experiments with bioluminescent...